Who's the best music distributor for your music? In this video, I'll be giving you four different companies that I've personally used myself over the past 10 years releasing music so that you can make a better decision for yourself. We're talking the pros, the cons, some of the pricing, and why you would use each of these services. I'll make sure to leave some timestamps below in case you wanna fast forward to the different services that I mentioned in today's video. But just to top it off, we're talking about TuneCore, CD Baby, Dell Music, and Shopify. If you wanna hear me talk about a few different services that I don't cover in this video, I'll leave a card up here for you to go check out my last distribution video where I mention a few others. So let's start with TuneCore. <music> The reason I'm starting with TuneCore is that this is the only service on this particular list in this video that offers a free distribution option. The only caveat about this option is that you're only able to release it to social media platforms. So not Spotify, not Apple Music, not Tidal, just TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. You know how they have sounds in their little applications? This is basically that. So if you take a look down here, you actually see what you get included with each of the different plans. So TuneCore, like a lot of these services, is one that offers an annual subscription. So if you wanna go beyond social media platforms, that's where you're gonna to have to pay more money in order to do that. My guess is if you're trying to distribute your music, you're not just trying to be featured on TikTok and somebody dancing on your video. You want to be able to make money sales, streams, you can start to grow your fan base and your career as a music artist. So yes, you will have to pay the $14.99 minimum per year, but it goes all the way up to $50 a year. Now, the thing about this annual subscription though is if you stop paying, they're gonna take your release down. It even says it right here. Why has my music been removed from stores? If the renewal fee has not been paid for by the renewal date, your release will be taken down from stores. So this is the negative part about TuneCore and why I stopped using them altogether because I didn't want to be paying this yearly subscription just for my music to stay up. Even though it is a low amount of money, $15 a year for unlimited releases is pretty amazing. And let's say you're somebody like me who sometimes forgets about some of these bills that you have to pay. Not that I have any missed bill payments, just slightly, maybe a day or two late. They're not gonna care about that. Your release is gone because you missed the payment and you have to suffer. I don't like that. Aside from that, I do think TuneCore offers a few different unique services in addition to the free artist profile like uh, publishing, they have Sync where they've gotten their music in I guess a bunch of these different games and movies. We have Rock Band, SpongeBob, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto Online, The Walking Dead, things like that. And that is with TuneCore Publishing. With TuneCore Publishing, you do have to pay a one-time set of fee of $75. Then they're going to take a 15% commission. You get to keep 85% of the royalties that are collected and a 20% commission on sync. So you get to keep 80% of your sync royalties from what I understand, which is kind of high in my opinion. It's a, it's a little high. So TuneCore is gonna be a great option for people who are starting out on a really, really low budget. You don't have any money at all if you wanna go free or you have a little bit of money where you can spend $15 per year and you're not seeking to go for the pay per release type of service. But just remember that if you miss one of these payments, if you stop paying, it's like you're holding my music hostage, you know, and you're shaking me for all the money that I have in my wallet. It's like a loan shark. Now you know we got your music, all right? And the moment you stop paying, Thorny, it's the moment your music goes sleeping with the fishes, you hear me? Gabish? Say hi to your mother for me, okay? Forget about it. The next service up here that we have is actually one that's been around for quite some time. I'm talking about when I first started releasing music way back in 2007, 2008-ish, and that is CD Baby. So this is actually the service that I personally use to distribute my most recent single, Games. And there's a few reasons why, and I'll tell you. So first of all, unlike most of the service on this list, this is a pay per release service. That means there are no subscription costs ever. You're never gonna have to pay yearly service fees to keep your music in Shazam and SoundCloud and all the other stuff that DistroKid does, for instance. All these add-ons that you keep paying year after year after year just to keep it in the system. It's pointless to me. So that's what attracted me to CD Baby is the fact that it doesn't have that subscription cost. You're paying $10 per release, whether it's an album or a single. And that means you don't have to pay any extra. So you can't stop paying because there's no subscription to stop paying. Your music stays up there once you pay. There's no extra thing for you to have to pay in order for your music to stay up. You know what I mean? Now, CD Baby also offers their own version of publishing and sync licensing. So this is where they're gonna pitch your song to different 
uh, networks like HBO, NBC, MTV, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all kinds of crazy shows and, and networks that we're talking about here. And plus their music licensing services are non-exclusive. And this means that you can work with other licensing companies and services too, if you want to. You're not locked down just to CD Baby. More opportunities for you. Now, you know how you had to spend a $75 fee to set it up on TuneCore? Well, with CD Baby, you're actually automatically set up when you release your songs with a standard or pro version. You don't have to pay any extra. In order to have the equivalent of leaving your music up at DistroKid, you're gonna end up paying $42 per release. So having $10 per release versus $40 per release, only one you're paying once, and the other one you're gonna have to keep paying $15 a year just to keep it up. Doesn't make sense to me. And while other services charge extra for add-ons like YouTube Content ID, Shazam, and delivering to new DSPs in the future, CD Baby keeps things simple by including all of these things in the price you pay. No microtransactions necessary. Lastly, with CD Baby's Stages program, seasoned artists can get help with promoting their music and growing their audience. With tools like editorial playlist pitching, getting verified on TikTok, and getting video distribution to Apple, just to name a few. So this is why I'm actually pretty excited about CD Baby, and I will update you if I land a deal, if I land some kind of sync opportunity. So if you do wanna give it a try, I have a code that you can use to get 50% off of your release. It's gonna be LX Single 23 for 50% off of your single, and LX Album 23 for you to get 50% off of your album, which makes this even more of a no-brainer in my opinion, but that's just, again, my opinion. You can choose to do what you want, now let's move on to number three. Next up we have Ditto Music and Ditto Music is a UK based distribution company that also offers many different services from publishing to releasing your music worldwide. And I think this is the only company that has a 30 day free trial, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think TuneCore has that. It's not as cheap as other distribution platforms out there. It is $19 a year which is still doable, but it does have that 30 day free trial. If you want to give things a try and see if you even like the service to begin with to pay that $19, a whole month free, that's pretty cool. So they don't take any commission off of your streaming royalties, which means you get to keep 100% of the royalties that you make from your streams. And they offer distribution to over 200 stores. I would imagine that that includes a little favorable collection of UK based or overseas based stores, because some of the other ones on this list only distribute to about 150. I think that gives them a little bit of an edge because your music is getting spread out, you know, to a wider range of services, but that also depends on how many people are using those services anyway. Now for Ditto Music's publishing aspect, they do take a 10% commission, so you're gonna keep 90% of the royalties that you make from your sync and your publishing. Your music does get registered worldwide. So here's some of the companies that they also will pitch your music to, BBC, Prime Video, HBO, Netflix, 49 a year. Oh, you see? That's the caveat here. I just found another caveat. Now the caveat with Ditto Music's publishing is that they're gonna charge you an extra $49 per year. So basically you're paying for distribution with this, 19, 29, or 69, and then you're adding 49 to whichever one that you're getting here. So most people are gonna go for the $19 a year option, but if you want your extra publishing royalties collected for you, like I talked about with CD Baby, then you're gonna be paying $68 per year, which again, it's per year, so it's not gonna hurt that much. And you can release unlimited music with this option, but again, this is one of those options where you're paying yearly to keep your music up. So that is something that you wanna think about. So Ditto Music is gonna be a great option for independent artists who want a, another cost-effective option with a range of features. Now those features you do have to pay a little bit more for, but they are there for you to add them a la carte, if I should say. The fourth and final service is gonna be one that's completely different from the other three that I talked about in the sense that it's not a conventional distribution platform. It's not one that's gonna distribute your music to Spotify, to Apple Music or any streaming, things like that. It's not gonna collect royalties for you. This is a direct to consumer sales platform called Shopify. Where you're selling your music to your fans. That could be with a hard copy, that could be digital copies, that could be in whatever way, shape, or form that you choose. You can even choose to host your music on your website if you want and have a little player do that for you. I don't know why you would wanna do that, but there's that option too. But Shopify is easily the most expensive of the bunch. So you're gonna be paying $39 a month minimum for your Shopify account. And the reason is because this is not just, again, 
sharing your music to social media platforms one time. This is actually a full website where you're selling all kinds of things from t-shirts and merch to digital downloads, courses, tickets to shows and events and things like that. I do use Shopify myself, but it's not really to sell my songs. It's more so to sell my beats as a, a beat maker, a producer. And this is a great option for people who are not really kind of releasing music, but if you're putting out songs because you want to make sales, then this is going to be the option for you. Now, because this is a self-contained website that you're creating, you're going to have to promote the crap out of it in order to make it worth your while. But the reason I put it on this list is because it does offer some digital distribution options where you're able to upload your music to the application in the Shopify store. And this ends up on your website and you can sell full on projects and singles and things like that. You can list them at different prices if you want to, but this is going to be a way for you to choose whatever price you want to choose. So if you want to sell your album for a thousand dollars, you can do that because it's, it's your store. You can set the price. I know when you're distributing to Apple music, for instance, you can only set it to like 999 for an album. $14.99 for an album, $19.99 for an album. No, here you can choose to put whatever price that you want to because it's your artwork, it's your music. So Toon Boom is one of the services. This has a free plan available. This is the one that I use actually to sell all of my music. And I've loved Toon Boom ever since I installed it on my sh my uh, Shopify store. There is also another option called Single Music. Now, the reason I didn't choose this one is because at the time it was one of those stores that didn't allow you to set your own custom pricing. It had the same thing with $9.99, $5.99, $19.99. I couldn't go above that amount if I wanted to. They might have changed things since then, but Single is another very highly driven uh, music store that is is catering to musicians. And then like it brings up a chef. <laughs> so this is my single Amna and you can choose to preview it here. No, well, it's supposed to preview. No, it just seems to be glitchy. This is a reason why Shopify might not be the option for you because it also requires a lot more maintenance. Shopify, um, you're running everything yourself. I mean, like, yeah, they have the assistance in the back end and the helpline and all that stuff, but your store is your store. You have to maintain it yourself. And if you don't have the energy or the time or the smarts to maintain a website by yourself, then your site is gonna suffer like that. People are not even gonna be able to play or preview your songs. And that's maybe why I haven't been making sales on my beats because <laughs> people can't hear the beats. Shopify is gonna be the most expensive option on this list, but it's gonna be the one that also has the least amount of a chance for you to get out to the masses on its own. You're gonna have to push it hard and promote it hard. You have to promote your music with all these other platforms too that are distributing your music to Spotify and all the other streaming platforms. But at least with those, you have a better chance of somebody randomly stumbling on your stuff than you do with Shopify. So which music distribution service is right for you? Have you decided? It really depends on your needs as an artist and where you're at in your career. But hopefully I gave you enough information for you to decide for yourself. Either way, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. And if you want to learn more about other distribution platforms I didn't mention here, take a look at this video here where I talk about a few other ones that may help you make your decision on which platform is right for you. I appreciate you guys. I love you as always. Stay legendary.